Hello, this is Erin Clancy at the Iowa Department of Human Services. Today I'm going to show you how to create a username and password in the iPower system. First, you would go to the iPower system and click on Login. The login is set up to sign in, not to create an account. So on the bottom, you'll see don't have an account, click here. So we'll click there. After that, it'll take you to this other sign-in page where you're in the sign-in screen as well. But up here, there's additional tabs and you'll click on the Create an Account tab and then you'll start to enter your first name and your last name. And then click Register. Your first name dot last name that you entered will display on the top. You can change that. That's going to be your um, username um, throughout your account time. So if you wanted to change that, you can, or you can leave it that way. After that, you'll need to enter a valid email address. And then you'll want to confirm that email address. This is the email address that you'll get your username and password information um, sent to. And you shouldn't use a business email address because if you change businesses over time, um, then you may not have access to that email account in the future. So you should always use your personal email address um, to create a username and password so that you can keep it regardless of where you work. Then click Save Account Details. And then it's telling you that you're going to be receiving information. I think it told me something about my username, but I continued. Okay, here it's telling you that an email has been sent to the address provided. So I'm gonna leave this open and I'm gonna go get that email. I opened a tab already. You can actually open a new tab over top of it to receive the email. That email should show up here. So here it is. So then you click on the email and you can read through it. It's basically saying if you did not request this account or think that it sent an error, then click here um, or follow these steps to activate the account. So the first step is clicking on this link. And then step two is creating baseline questions. So I'll click on this link and it'll lead me to do that. So I'm going to select baseline questions. And then I'm selecting the question. Later, I'm going to have to remember the question and the answer. So um, if you can't remember it on your own, then you should probably create some kind of a document and hide it somewhere so that you can remember it by looking it up. So there's three questions and the last one is create your own. You can be more creative than that. And then you just save the identity baseline. And if it doesn't match, there's a confirmation for answer two does not match. So I must have just mistyped one of them. So I'm gonna type them back again. I'll try it again and hope that I did it correctly that time. Okay, so after you create the baseline, now you're going to create a password. So for the password, you should probably make sure that it's unique. It has numbers and letters and special characters. 
and it'll allow you to um, successfully change your password. So there, so now I've done all of the things that it's asked me to do. I'm going to enter the information here and I'm going to sign in. You just saw that 500 internal service error. That's because there's a break in the link to the iPower system from creating a username and password. So if you get that error message, all you have to do is go ahead and go back and look for iPower's um, website again, click on that link, go in and log in with what you just created as your new um, username and password that you just created because that's already still there. You don't have to worry about that. So you would just enter the username and password that you just created. And click enter or hit login. And that will bring you to the profile page that we'll talk about in our next video. Thank you for watching how to create a username and password.